laws are very important to regulate the society, to regulate the human behavior. Without law, there would be chaos and disorder everywhere. So, let's read the chapter Law, Critical Science Plus One. For this video is for English medium students. Let's begin. This is my channel. Do subscribe it. MD Alam, Critical Science. You write, you find it. This is me. And the topic. Topic is law. In this topic, we will cover meaning, definitions, characteristics, or features, kinds, sources, and qualities of good laws. What is law? Law has different definitions, but one thing is for sure that this regulates the behavior. No, com no community can live without rules. And it is very necessary to ensure the minimum uniformity and conduct of behavior in a desired manner. Without law, social life would be impossible. And so it is needed. There are many laws in the society right moral laws social laws legal laws religious laws here we will talk about the law that brings order in the society so let's start with the meaning meaning of law the term law is derived from the teutonic word lag which means fixed one can say that these are fixed rules. Laws are fixed rules which are made and enforced by the state. So, uh, according to the principles of political science, only those rules which are made and enforced by the state are known as laws. And uh, as state regulates it, it b makes it, enforces it, and regulates it. And this is done to regulate the relationship within in with individuals and among the individuals through law. So, hope the meaning of law is clear. Uh, these are symbolic representation of law or legal authorities. Let's move to the definitions. There are various definitions and we will discuss a few of them. According to Austin, laws are command given by superior to inferior. It talks about one thing that laws are command of superior and it is given to the inferior. But in modern sense, we do not agree with it. Laws are common for all. Even those who rule, they are also under the law. Holland says a law is a general rule of external actions enforced by the sovereign political authority. This says that, this definition says that there is a sovereign political authority. means Sarv Satta Dhari Prabhu Satta Sampan Authority and that actually enforces the law and these are generally in nature for all and pound says the body of principles recognized and enforced by the public by public and regular tribunals in the administration of justice justice ke administration ke liye tribunal dwara jo regular tribunal is suggested that it is enforced by the public or chosen by the public the body of the principles these are though recognized and enforced by the public or public and so pounds definition is quite clear so from all these definitions we come to conclusion that uh, there is one more definitions and after that we will conclude it that Woodrow Wilson says 
Law is that portion of established thought and habits which has gained distinct and formal recognition in the shape of uniform rules backed by the authority and power of government. So, Voodoo Wilson has included law is the portion of established thought, established thought, habits and habits and which has gained distinct and formal recognitions. So, it has gained formal recognition also, specially, right, in the shape of uniform rules. It is uniform for all and it is backed by authority, whoever in, is in the power. Uh, for example, government backs it and forces it. So, uh, this definition is quite compre comprehensive, this and also of font. So, can, we can conclude that the rules are made and enforced by the state which regulates the external life of an individual and whosoever violates these rules is punished by the courts. So, law is uh, regulated by state, enforced by state and whosoever violates it is punished by courts. I think definitions are clear to you. Let's move to the characteristics. Laws first point is laws are made and enforced by the state. No other authority can make and enforce only state or state's organs which have been assigned this duty they make it. Next is laws are backed by the coercive power of the state. Means there is fear of punishment otherwise if one doesn't obey the law they they should be afraid of being punished the law uh, disobeyers are punished by the state next point is laws are concerned with external behavior of the individual if somebody is thinking about something wrong nobody is to punish for his wrong thinking until he acts according to his wrong thinking so it is Concerned with external behavior of the news for only. Next point is laws are equal for all. It is equal for all means nobody is above law. And laws are same for everybody from lower level to upper level. Then law is for social welfare means it, it is for the society as a whole. It does welfare work for society. It means to save society it is. And ultimate goal is to uh, is betterment of the society. Laws are dynamic. It means it keeps on changing with the needs and situation of the time. And laws are f fixed and stable also. Laws are fixed and stable also. It means no individual can give the interpretation of the law according to his wishes. So in case of the individual are allowed to interpret the laws according to their wishes, there will be chaos, there will be, there will be many interpretation and confusion. So, laws meanings are fixed and stable. These are the characteristics. It is impossible by the government based on authority. It is imposed by the government based on authoritative power. Violation of law is punishable offense. Laws should be spelt out clearly and concisely. Laws are enforced with the objective of controlling man's external behavior and actions. Laws should be enforced for general social welfare and law changes according to the change, changing social needs and desires. Kinds of laws. According to Professor Gattel, there are three kinds of laws. Private laws, public laws and international laws. And public law, it is in international law, administrative law, constitutional law, criminal law, tax law. If you talk about private law, it is contract law, tort law, family law, employment law, land law, wills and successions. These comes in public and private. And international law that we will do further. According to Professor R. N. Glucrist, there are six kinds of laws, statutory laws constitutional laws, common laws, ordinances, judges made law and administrative law. These are kinds of laws, right? So 
if you want if you want detail on all these category just comment in the comment segment and I'll make detailed video on it so uh, I will make video on it if you wish next is according to professor McIver he in his book the modern state has mentioned these types of laws national laws international laws na and further nas uh, national laws have constitutional laws ordinary laws ordinary law again it has been mistyped again private law public law general law and administrative law so international law as we have talked about international law in the beginning there are private law public law international law so international law uh, if you talk about it, it is regulated uh, under uh, it regulates the sovereign state basically and sources of international laws are international treaties international agreements international organizations this is again symbol of law international law if we talk about international environmental conventions there are on international uh, environmental problem so it includes vienna conventions and the montreal protocol and sub on substances that deplete the ozone layer then un framework conventions on climate change and kyoto protocol then conventions on biological diversity and bio and biosafety pr protocol then we have conventions in the international trade of endangered species then we have conventions on wetland of international importance especially as water fall habitats and then we have conventions on the trans boundary movement of hazardous waste then we have international conventions on the prevention of pollution by ships then we have conventions for the protections and development of the marine environment of the wider caribbean region then the united nations convention to combat desertification in those countries experiencing serious drought and or uh, desertification particularly in africa so these are international uh, some environmental conventions accordingly there are internal uh, international convention on different aspects of life also there is international judiciary international court of justice right so now let's talk about sources of law number one is customs and traditions custom and traditions that prevails in society are the source of law they are very simple and they evolve with the time they are based on traditions and custom prevalent in the society number two is religion religions has religions all the religions of the world have certain rules and regulations so these influence the life of man right and in day to day life they follow certain certain religious things so they are also there the law of quran mohammedan law of quran manus code of law then hindu laws based on that so these are uh, the religious law then we have judicial decisions they are sort of law made by the judges 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 verdict uh, made certain law right so these laws uh, are made by judges decisions are very important and they play very important role in future court of justice also for future future decisions also and then have jurists and critics of law jurists are the people who basically are judges and critics of law those who study and analyze and write comments on jurists decision and the laws also so do, uh, from those also certain laws comes up so again we have legislature or legislature or statutory or parliament law these are um, made and passed in parliament and implemented by executive then we have executive law executive while implementing certain laws statutory laws 
uh, make certain or uh, execute certain law in a certain way that uh, develops its own kind of laws then we have public opinion also public opinion also uh, take the form of law as uh, in democracy public uh, expression is the most important thing and the, and if the laws are based on public opinion they are better obeyed that is why in country like uh, switzerland the referendum is done and other direct source of democracy is applied where people approve and, and disapprove the law made by the legislature then we have ordinances ordinances are basically uh, the actually issues by the executive in, in the absence of uh, legislature or when legislature or uh, doesn't meet in the, and the situation of certain law is there then ordinances are issued by executive right here in india president issues uh, ordinance uh, on the advice of prime minister and council of ministers right and after uh, once the parliament meets it has to get approval uh, by uh, of the parliament and if it doesn't get approval then the law fails it ceases to exist within a fixed period of time so these are the sources of law if you talk about the salient features uh, or good qualities of laws so laws uh, those laws are good they, which are very simple very and which even common man understand so it, if a law has simple uh, meanings and explaining simple terms simple words it is considered good then permanence law should be permanent the people are uh, able to obey law and and uh, they should obey in the same way and if the laws are uh, obeyed it it last for long time and the people also develop respect for law so it should be permanent flexible it should change according to time and situation then it should be flexible also comprehensive the laws should be comprehensive all aspects of human life life it should include uh, no individual or section of society should feel in neglect it it should be uh, for everyone and then welfare of the people law should be for the welfare of the people not to um, punish them but for the welfare of the people a law without uh, the basis uh, of being welfare uh, law for the people it won't last for long laws should be made by the representative of the people it shouldn't be an uh, and forced authoritatively it should be made by the representative of the people and then it should be enforced properly then based on public opinion it should be based on public opinion as uh, we discussed earlier right so uh, while making law public opinion should be taken into con consideration if laws are not as per the public opinion those are laws are uh, not going to last for long based on moral values also laws should be <coughs> based on moral val values it should not violate the moral laws beliefs faiths truths it should be based on brief law those laws are considered good which, which are brief it shouldn't be in details and in complicated words right so common people don't understand that's the basic problem with the laws where l l lawyers take advantages of it then helpful in the development of human personality laws should be as as it should be for the betterment of human development good laws are those which prepare people for the better life and which develop their personality their uh, which are for well being of the people if a law doesn't fulfill uh, this purpose that is development of human being the development of their personality it is it is not considered good law and it can never be good and popular among the people willing obedience of law law should be as good that the people willingly should you know obey it 
right so uh, those laws are considered good which people obey willingly and not for the fear of punishment so in brief we can say that the the and that the law should be natural and uh, and those should be willingly obeyed by the people we can say that laws uh, has quality of permanence stability flexibility brevity simplicity and comprehensive are considered good laws hope you understood it thank you best of luck take care bye bye